welcome to my channel if you are new what up we are spending the weekend in toronto well she lives in toronto <laughs> i'm spending the weekend in toronto and we're gonna just explore have an autumn weekend in toronto are you okay. excited i'm so excited <laughs> okay so let's go what are we doing first we're gonna go have lunch at toronto toro. Yes. We go here every single time Violet's in town, so. Because it's not in my city, so let's go. <laughs> we are outside. Jenna is trying to decide what way is best for us to get to Toro Toro. Yeah. Either walking or taking the We're gonna walk car. and walk. You see this pants right here? They're not hitting the floor. It's like, you know, as if you're in water and you're trying to make sure your pants don't touch the floor. Yeah, that's exactly what they look like to me. I hate them so much, but it's such a trend right now. Everybody has them, especially with Gen Z, I guess. But also like just Toronto people in general. Why? I think it's hideous. Jenna obviously doesn't because she has them on. <laughs> what do you think? Comment down below if you like these kind of pants or not. When a good thing goes bad, it's not the end of a world, it's just the end of a world that you had with one girl, and she's the reason it happened. This is Toro Toro! We are here, finally! Years later, we finally got here. I'm so tired. It is crazy. Do you want some water? Uh, yes, please. Oh, that's cool. They have like a cucumber water fountain. That's cool. The tiredness? is real like that was a long walk for you my lady thank you i need to decide still so. what did you get i got that salmon kamikaze roll can i please get a big hi can i get the big maki roll okay. that's all it's gonna be ready okay know. thank you very fancy the boxes i know i love how they do their brand and it's so good let me see what it looks like inside that looks so good. And I like, this isn't the one I like. This is not the one I wanted. Let me see it. That looks good though. Should I just eat it and see if I like it? Yeah. The packaging is so pretty. Yeah, it is, right? I love the packaging. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the... Okay, so it's like a cookie dough. Yeah. Yeah. I can't lie though. I put that burrito. That burrito looks way better than my sushi. I don't like egg and sushi. Wait, is that egg? If I knew that, I would have gotten it, but well, I don't like egg and sushi. I know, I know. How's yours? It's great. I tried hers and it's so good. I almost wish I got that instead. The only reason I didn't want to get a burrito was because it's kind of messy. What I got was actually pretty good. I was kind of scared because it had egg in it. I would give it a strong 7 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10 to me. What you're eating? Yeah. We are done eating, so now we are just exploring y uh, Yorkville yes. and Delicious looking at some shopping. stores, doing oh, sorry, some window shopping. I think we're gonna go to Italy. I want Violet to try this like pistachio thing that I'm obsessed with. We're going to Aloe. Oh my gosh. Is it nice? That is insane. I'm oh, that is so go. soft. Their prices are just wild. Like, you'll see something. But you know what though? The quality matches the price. Yeah. I'll give it that much. But I do think it looks better, like the designs. I feel like the designs look better than um, Lululemon. Bye. I love your hair. I feel like aloe is something that you ask like, your, someone, like yeah. someone to get for you. It's so funny though because it's so easy to spend that amount of money on like going out for dinner or something. Yeah. At least for me. Yeah. But when I see it for like one pair of pants, I'm like, yeah. you want me to pay 180 for I a pair of pants? I pay 180 at dinner. But at aloe, I'm like, ooh. They are protesting the Alexander Wang because of fur. Alexander Wang has blood on his hands. Damn. It's so funny how the Toronto culture, you kind of have like just allow animals to go wherever because everybody has a dog. Gives me like cabin vibes. Yeah, right? This is my color, you know, plain. I know. That, that looks like something you'll have. It was this. Why guess? A uh, Stanley cup where you can get a Roots cup. So cute. Wait, it's that's cuter. so cute though. I think it's cuter than Stanley cups. I think so too. So, just saying. And they have really good quality stuff too. Like everything feels like you'll be yeah. sweating in the winter. Italy! We're gonna see if we can score some Italy samples. And then we're gonna get. Are we getting an ice coffee here? Yeah. Oh, I thought we we're gonna Starbucks at some more. No? Yeah. And then you wanted me to try something in here too, right? 
what was it? It's a pistachio. Thing. A pistachio. Oh, cool. What kind of like an ice cream or what? No, it's a dessert. Italy is always so like it just looks so nice. Everything looks so fresh. Everything always looks so good here. It makes me so hungry. This is like all pans used as a light fixture. That is so cool. Oh, the carts are so cute. It's like the perfect size. Yeah. So we stopped because we've been walking all day. We haven't gotten a chance to sit down. So we're getting some iced coffee. And we're having a little mini date before we continue our walking spree. We gotta go to Zara because I'm gonna look for a jacket. Same as similar to hers. I don't wanna talk to you exactly. I don't want us to be twins, but she's inspired me. She's my fashion icon. That's a bit much. I wear black every day. So we just finished taking our break. It was like, what, an hour? <laughs> and now we're heading to Zara and Ladder Rash, of course, because my rule is whenever I see a Ladder Rash, it's simple. I get something from there. <laughs> and then you have work, and I'm gonna go watch Smile, part two. Ladder Rash, we are here for you. Thank you. Yeah, one of the bigger pieces. <laughs> we always have really good stuff. Remember we tried these before? Mm -hmm. Got our ladder rush. We had so much samples, like yeah, I'm actually full. I didn't, I didn't need this. I almost wanted to leave, but I felt pressure to buy something because yeah. we we tried so many it samples. Was so much. <laughs> the pistachio one really was not that good. No, it wasn't, right? Yeah. The coffee one, even he says my favorite. The is coffee one was. Mm, that's why I said you want rest. Yeah, I was like, she this gave is, me half of hers. Mm -mm. Sometimes you just feel pressured because he was trying so hard to help yeah. us, and, it's and we're eating so much, and yeah. I was like, well, it's like such heifers if we just leave yeah. <laughs> after eating all that. So we are on our way to go watch Smile Part 2. Jenna is at work, she's doing a short shift, so and she is scared of this movie, she's terrified. So what better time to go see it than now? Um, so we're on our way, I'm so excited. Part 1 was so good, it had no business being as good as it was, so I'm, I have high hopes for Part 2. Cineplex! So excited for this movie. Story with Lego pieces. Seriously? About and it's only movie. Who go, yeah, but the story movie. I'll let you know cool what I think about it once it's done. Two hours later. That movie was crazy. It was so good. I would even go as far as saying it was better than part one. I hope I'm not hyping it up too much, but it was good. It was shocking. There was no delay. It started right away. The action. Wasted no time. Go see it. Major, major breakthrough here, guys. Look at this number. What does that say? Wait, wait, wait. Let it, let it. Hold on, hold on. Let it focus. Almost there. Look at that. 32,897 steps. Crazy. That's how much steps I took today. We're playing Friends trivia because we're both like huge <laughs> fans of uh, Friends. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the end of the night. We've done we've our 33,000 steps. I think we got, deserve a break. What's Joey's Asian name? Joey's Asian's name? Oh, Ursula? Kinda. It was, it's kinda. Uma? It starts with an E. Estelle. Yes. Oh yeah, hey Joey! <laughs> In the episode, the one where everyone finds out, mm -hmm. who moves out of their apartment? The one where everybody finds out who moves out of their apartment. And why they find out. Who moves out of their apartment. Um, Ross. Yeah, yeah. And that's how we found out that Monica and Chandler were together. This view is amazing. We're at day two in Toronto. We're about to go to what? St. Lawrence Market? Yeah, St. Lawrence Market and St. Lawrence, Lawrence Market and Distillery. And then we're going to go to the Captain's Boil to get some seafood boil. And I couldn't be more excited. I'm so excited. What are we going to do in St. Lawrence Market? What is um, there to do there? There's like just a bunch of fun stalls, like a vintage market across the street. Mm -hmm. There's, it's just like something fun to look at. Oh, and the building's like super vintage. Oh, it's nice outside. Oh, okay. So guys, in Canada, it's been cold, like summer so is cool. over, and then this weekend is just so nice. We chose the perfect weekend to have this. Uh -huh. I literally even texted her and I told her to like bring warm clothes. Yeah. It's so cold last week. Like, and this is all I have to wear, which is not much. Like, it, it works. You look so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Reactors, and it's all because you don't want things to change. Cry if you need to, but I can't say to watch you. It's the wrong thing. 
Quick life hack, not really a life hack, but just more of a tip. If you have big hair that gets everywhere or you have hair that's like unruly or whatever, wearing a visor, visor yeah. helps so much. Because look at how much the wind is blowing. But because I have a visor on, I don't have to worry about hair getting in my face. Mm -hmm. Because the brim kind of protects my face. Yeah. It's great. Like, it won't get stuck on your lipstick or not. Yeah, it doesn't get, well, not too much at least. Uh -huh. <laughs> look at this. Pit stop. Jenna is about to go get her passport photo taken. No, it's a visa photo. A visa photo, because she's going to Ghana. She goes to Ghana every year for the winter. She's a snowbird at her ripe young age of 31. <laughs> Am I 31? Yeah, 30, yeah. you're 30. Okay, I'm turning 31 next week. Yeah. So, look at her preparing for her passport photo. If she was Kim K, she'll have a whole glam team with her, but she has to work so with all she's got. You're my glam team. My yeah. support. I'm your support system. Between your eyebrows? Okay, put it here yeah. and... Yeah. Okay. This is a photo shoot. It's not a you you ought to you ought to pay her. You Master ought to pay. Sure, it's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Can, can my hair be Imagine you're just shopping in a grocery store, coming down the aisle looking for your freaking <laughs> daily veggies, and all you see is this girl just sitting here <laughs> <laughs> looking like this. This girl thought she was doing a whole America's Next Top Model photo shoot when she was doing her passport or visa photos and it took so damn long Sorry. she was like can I put my hair in front oh should I change my outfit oh should I, I changed my outfit I w it would have got rejected if I wore a white top I remember my mom telling me that like I remembered it at the last one and then look all my layers are white this one and then this one they're all she, white you, this is also the wrong day to wear all white <laughs> and, and I was oh should I touch I, I was gonna come earlier before she was finishing getting ready so I would have just been oh I'm, I'm joking anyways Oh my, oh, oh my god. <laughs> These freaking pigeons. Oh guys, okay. I have to tell you a fun pigeon, well, not so fun pigeon fact. It's so fun, what do you mean it's really fun? It's actually really sad. <laughs> so, pigeons are apparently the, the oldest domesticated animals out there because we used to use them for mail carry. So we domesticated them in the old days when we needed to carry mail from one place to the another. As time went on, and we started developing other ways to deliver mail, we kind of just abandoned pigeons. And that's why you see pigeons in areas where you find a lot of human beings in. Yes. So you'll see them a lot in the cities or near apartment buildings. And it's because we domesticated them. And then when we didn't need them anymore, we just got rid of them as if they're disposable. And now they seek to be around human beings. How sad is that? So Imagine if we just decided we don't want cats or dogs anymore and they just don't want to be around us, but we don't yeah. hit them any minds. And if anything, we are like stressed out them so sad. so sad so that's my not so fun fact we are now at st lawrence market now we're gonna explore jana wants to grab a little drinkity drink from lcbo so we need to support her on this <laughs> on this um <laughs> excursion she's going on what are you trying to get it's like a little candy yeah. so if i got me into these founder drinks but i don't think she got me the I think she got me this one, the tequila yeah, the pink Paloma one. Before that one was so good, I'm obsessed. Drink Update: the We're getting two drinks because <laughs> why not? We're on vacation. Oh, well, I'm on vacation. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on vacation too. <laughs> this is as Canadian as it gets. Look at the flags, guys. I know. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you've been here before, right? I think I've been here. Once. Yeah, a very, 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 yeah. very, 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 very very long time after you my lady it, what does this remind you of just like a typical farmer's market right yeah it's like a yeah. farmer's market they have to put this in dollars too which is really nice yeah. but I think they put it nicer if you want some maple syrup as a Canadian I'm trying to do a Canadian voice it's not working right now look at these king crab legs look how good they look 
we're in line waiting for some oysters. Apparently, it's really fresh here. So, and it's typical, and they shuck it right in front of you. And you can choose like all the sides, so, sides you want. So, you can get bread wine, uh, champagne wine, like just Oh, like the sides, yeah. Oh, oh you have to pay extra for the sides? Um, no. These ones. That looks so good. So, let me sit down. I'm having this. Are we just supposed to slurp it, right? Mm. Cheers! This is a big one. Big boy. This is, look how big this one Huge. This anyway, is like, guys. This is more of the vintage market. Yeah, it's more. Oh, really? Yeah, antiques and all that. Interesting. Oh, they have books. I don't know if I'm interested in any of these books. We know more. So cute. It's cute. It's the it's the pearls that make it so cute. It's the pearls. Yeah. Oh, sorry. One more. So cute. We just finished going to St. Lawrence Market. It was really nice. There's a lot to see there. I envy anybody that lives around this area because I feel like when you're going grocery shopping, yeah. it just makes it much easier to have fresh foods and stuff. And pre-made food too. And pre-made food. Mm -hmm. We drank our drinks. Jenna's still drinking hers. <laughs> now we are headed to Captain's, the Captain's Boil. Look at this. How aesthetic. Oh, it's giving fall vibes. Oh, guys, side note. I know I already talked about it last night, but if you haven't seen Smile 2, go watch it. If you're a horror fan, go I'm watch. actually really considering there's like having a playlist of like talking about horror movies yes. that's how obsessed i am anyways but um if you're a horror fan go watch smile too finally made it yeah to captain's boil i'm so excited to eat a few moments later we just finished at captain's boil i can't lie it was just okay i think i'm done with seafood boil for a while we're about to continue our walk I'm gonna probably get some iced coffee at some point because I'm kind of crashing a little bit. Then I was washing her hands over there. We have our to-go. I never have to-go when it comes to seafood bowl. This time we have some because it just wasn't hidden. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. It's been a few hours <laughs> and now we have a few um, fights and a few <laughs> dairy, dairy Queen blizzards after. We are heading to the movie room to go watch a movie. And I have my laptop and she has, she's acting as if she's going for a sleepover. <laughs> and we're going to see what we want to watch. I'm aiming towards the movie Totally Killer because um, yesterday we watched Freaky with, um, uh, what's that guy's name again that was in it? Um, Vince Vaughn. With Vince Vaughn. And she liked the movie. And I feel like Totally Killer is very, it's like a very similar type of movie. Hernandez was stabbed 16 times in the parking lot. You are already scared. To the Sweet 16 Killer Podcast Tour. Brought to you by true crime journalist, Christy Massage. in day three on Monday. Today's the day that I'm actually heading back from Toronto. And the weirdest thing just happened. I'm going to go visit my friend right now. I've never been to her house before. And the Uber driver dropped me off. I told him this is not the area. I called my friend. She said that we're on the wrong area. And instead of him to like find the area, he just said, well, this is what the map says. So bye. Mm, one star. One star. You get one star. If I could give zero stars, I would. But I think this might be it right here. I'm gonna have to go around and find out because Sir didn't want to help me out. That was the weirdest Uber encounter I've ever had. I finally found the place, so woohoo. We are now here. I'm gonna hang out here for a bit. And then me and Jenna are gonna go get some, probably some sushi or some Nigerian food after because I've been craving Nigerian, like good Nigerian food. And what better place to get it back than Toronto? So we're gonna get some Nigerian food. Guys, look how crazy this view is my friend has from her unit. 
she has a view of like the city back there she has a view of the suburbs with all the neighborhoods and then she even has a view of the water over there that is so pretty wow i'm trying not to get too close to the edge because you know intrusive thoughts yeah much 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 later hello are you here yes uber okay i'm coming yay i am back at jenna's place and i ordered some food some nigerian food that i've been craving this whole time and i'm about to dig in the excitement is beyond me ah got some powdered yam we got some egusi soup and we got some assorted meat okay oh my god assorted meat Egusi soup Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Pounded yam. Instead of using my hands to eat pounded yam, I now use a fork. I know, I'm one of those. And it's changed my life because I'm so into pounded yam, but a lot of times I avoid it just because of the mess and having to like use my hand. And, but now that I can use a fork and I use a fork, it makes everything so much easier and that's all I eat. Like whenever I go to Nigerian restaurants now, it is either pounded yam with soup or nothing at all. First bite, oh yeah? Ooh. Wait, I need to see yours too. I need to come and film yours. Come, come. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That's so good. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, they even wrapped it in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. No, this is good. This is good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Stew. And then smoky jello. Ooh, let me see the stew. Open the stew up. Okay. Ooh, Ooh, that looks really good. Okay. See, this is what I wanted. Or should we watch Smile? Okay, we can. Should we actually? Yeah, I know. I'm so. Should sorry. I get my laptop? Yeah. Saturday. See, this is exactly why you have to get out of that girl's hospital and into like gross. Oh, gross. Gross. Looks really nice on camera, eh? Mm hmm. Bye Toronto, it's been fun. Hello, hello, hello. We are at Moxie's right now, about to catch our train. But first, before I leave the city, I have to get Moxie's white chocolate brownie, which is, in my opinion, one of the best desserts ever. So I'm just waiting for that before I go catch my train. 7.19, my train comes at 7.45, or leaves at 7.45. Passing up on my own. 